Hey everyone, welcome back to Codemaster Lab. In this video, I will walk you through creating a registration page using HTMX for AJAX request, Suite Alert 2 for user notification, and a custom Java script function to handle the response. We will also implement the registration logic in Codeigniter 4. Let's get started. We need to add dependencies to our project which is first one is htmx and suite alert i have already opened their official website and custom handle function i have i have already written it and uploaded in the github link will be provided in the description just go to your uh, script custom scripts and then paste it over the function once it is done just save it out we will explain you each and every code in this we have written few lines of code which are mandatory so in this like we need button so we have taken button value before it gets submit and we have success as well here and also messages we have here and error messages also we have we have I have also written csrf code and if the message is not in the correct format then we will have one more alert so these kind of things we have already written over here if the responses are not correct and all we are not getting in the json format and all everything has been mentioned over here so you can go through the walk through the code i'll just add the um, dependency of htmx which will be helping you for your ajax function so ajax calls and all is not required simple html functions are fine next will be your sweet alert for your alert alerts of the updates okay that's it now we will go to our sign up and first we will write our form in this first we will write hx post where we will be using post method next will be our target where the target response should be this will be this form itself next will be your trigger function hx trigger click event we will be using for the button so wherever the, there is a button event.target.match button wherever there is a button here in this form and uh, it is clicked then this um, what we call post uh, method should be form get should be submitted ajax function should be called upon the request after the request we need to always um, call our response handle okay which we have i've already shown you in my scripts for file right so this is how we handle the response and swap will be none that's it this is what you need to write it out that's it and make sure your button type is submit and you have names in all your input fields which is mandatory in checkbox there should be some changes i'll do it later on but that's it for now now let us see the controller function in this we need to write like uh, when the request is like ajax or when we have some header like hjack request then we need to use it if there is any ajax request or in header we have hjax request then we need to execute this first what we will do we will get all the variables first to get all the variables we will write data request post type in this we get the all the data in array format to get post uh, get post method we are getting all the data in array format if you want singly single data and all then if you want email separately then you need to write mention specific name whatever you need it so i'll write here email password I, I i'll take password and then i'll take your what we call name and all okay so the three things and also we have terms okay four things we need it first is email second will be your password third will be your email a name then terms will be a fourth okay now we will use some logic here we will do some validation uh, not validation it we are not using validations here next video i'll create for validations and all so how to do validation here we will um, before inserting data if the email is already exist or not in our database we will check it out 
and terms pay terms is checked or not so terms button is checked or not we will check okay so for this first we will check whether the email is present in our database or not for this we need to use user model now this user model we need to there is no variable with user model for this we will be creating a new user model okay for that just define the variable above user model and that we, we need to create create a new user model that's it okay then to use this we directly write user model where the email id is this and first means only the single email id one row will get it out so if there is anything like such that then we will return uh, in json format so what we'll do this request json set uh, set json so set json takes an array so let me write it over here the array the status will be error next will be your okay um okay next will be your message status is again it should be in double quotes and all next will be your message in this message we'll write like email id already exists okay i'll just make new line and all let me see what happens i'm getting errors uh, what i'll do i'll create one uh, array okay so and i'll just pass that array over here so why to get more risky and all i'll just create re response equals to array and there i'll just add these things okay that's it a simple response here i'll write as a response that's it okay if anything goes wrong then we'll return this thing okay if any email id exists then we'll return this thing similarly so if you check like in the scripts you have status and message so which is i have added status and message now we the message should be a string or this kind of thing so a string we are sending it out so we should be able to view that next will be your terms okay so we will check if terms and conditions are checked or not before that let's see the password password need to be hashed so we will hash the password using a password algorithm okay so any algorithm you can use to hash your password so that the password algorithm hashing technique i have used here okay now i'll check for now uh, what we call we'll insert the data so user model insert data now data data okay, should be in the array format so we'll create an array and then we will insert it out we'll write the error uh, data else again we will send an response if insertion failed then we will send again an error response error response would be can't able to insert into insert reg insert register so any message you just send it out okay here i'll write data array and i'll add one by one the email password and name i'll add this three th once this is done terms and conditions are not required we have not added it in our database so not not needed so if terms is not checked then i will again send an error response saying that terms and conditions is not checked okay please uh, accept terms and conditions that's it i'll send this message now we will complete the data array password hash and then will be your name email i'll just delete it out and delete these all variables now you will get an error where condition of email so i can write data of email right so it will check properly and then everything is perfectly aligned now only with the thing is left is insert after inserting we will write an success response uh, status will be success user has registered this is a simple inserting data into the database of sign up or registration form we have already created if it is like success we also need a redirect url okay 
so we we need to redirect it to login page so that user can able to login once it is registration is successfully completed we'll redirect him to login page so we have written redirect okay that's it for this implementation of the controller now let us check the response here i have not used validation in my next video you will get to know about the validation part okay let's go to our local host login sign up in database you can able to see there is a users and migration so in this the email ids are mentioned code master lab this email id is different and i'll use some other email id right now okay so code master lab password i have given same email id i have used here let me open our network tab and click on sign up okay let me zoom out and yeah sign up now you can able to see accept terms and conditions i am getting an error but i can't able to see the error okay handle response is not defined now you can able to see like handle response is defined inside the script but it is not been loaded properly i'll just reload this hard reload and then again i will enter the details sign up uh, but still i am facing the same error accept terms and conditions is not been done and uh, handle response is not i i can't able to see that pop up now in this case scenario if it is still it is showing similarly what thing you can do is you can just go to your uh, footer page just copy this complete script go to your footer and write a script ex, uh, write a script over here script tag and just paste the complete function okay this will help you to work properly now you need to see that pop up that terms and conditions has been not been added or checked okay so let's see network yeah accept terms and conditions i am getting an error so let me check this right now if your yeah, check checkbox is not working okay so let me see what's wrong in the checkbox let me go to the code okay in checkbox i have not given the value i'll set the value to 1 uh, so that it will be checked and input i'll give it uh, checkbox uh, name as terms value should be zero and i'm making it hidden okay so if nothing is checked then it will be hidden so value is 1 checked okay value is 1 and i need to be checked out okay so you can do programmatically using j j javascript and all so whenever it is click checked whenever it is again click uncheck and all so that i'll not do it right now since we are focusing on the inserting it registering a date user so that's the reason i can see like again i have got an unexpected response let me see what is the response okay database exception i am getting so allowed fields so i think there is an error in model go to your model allowed fields spelling is not properly defined so let me write the spelling properly allowed fields okay now allowed fields has been completed again let me see again there is an error here itself again okay primary key so let me go to the official page of code igniter 4 and see about the models okay code igniter 4 model if you see the model in this they have clearly mentioned like how the model structure should be okay so if i scroll down little bit you got your allowed fields i have already copied and pasted the allowed fields similarly and also if you scroll down little bit there is an auto increment which i have missed it out okay i have missed the auto increment to be true so let me copy the auto increment because primary id primary id should be unique and it should be always automatically in incremented rest all fields we have leaving it blank okay now let us click on this and that here you go the user has been registered successfully so that that's it we have successfully created a registration page using htmx suite alert and code igniter 4 custom javascript function if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to code master lab for more web development tutorials see you in next video happy coding